So Sarah, we're both married, right? Yep. Well, when you were dating, did you ever feel like it was like a full-time job? Because I certainly did. I don't think I ever got the dating thing right. I wish yeah. I had a little bit of strategy. And you know, so many of my single friends say they have stressed out they mm -hmm. are and overwhelmed when it comes to dating and that they're just going on all these dates that end up being total train wrecks. Yeah, well, we've enlisted relationship expert and the founder of the matchmaking service, Cupid's Cronies, April Davis, to help turn date night nightmares into date night dreams. Ooh. Welcome. Thank you for having me today. You have a couple of tips that you talk about, and one of the ones you say is for women not to be afraid to ask the guy out on the date. Well, at least that. make the first move. You know, this isn't the 50s anymore. We right. can actually, you know, women can go after what they want. And think about it in terms of, you know, back in the day, the lady used to drop her handkerchief when she wanted a guy to pick it up for her and Doesn't give it to her. Doesn't work that way? No. That's well, not what you do? You have to <laughs> find a modern day type of handkerchief, right? Yeah. And just basically it's opening the door for them to be able to come and approach you. And, and then it's kind of appreciated, right? Yeah. Because you're, you know, you're Take taking charge. some initiative. Take charge. Right. Kind of guy. Right. So your next tip is try something new. What do you mean by that? Well, just not doing the same old, same old dinner or lunch type of date where you're sitting across the table staring at each other and it feels awkward. <laughs> and, you know, do something, some sort of activity. Maybe it's going for a walk even or mm -hmm. bowling, just something out of the norm that will make it a little more adventurous. So maybe something that it's not like one of you is the expert at, right? right? Like you could maybe do something that you both have never done. Exactly. I really like, like a little bit maybe more extreme type of mm -hmm. activities, like going to an archery range or maybe even shooting yeah. or getting a jet ski or something Ooh. different. Remember Ooh, that movie Hitch? Everyone, yeah. right? <laughs> right? So when they went out and they did the jet ski and the river. You know, there's yeah, a rock different. climbing gym here in yeah, Brooklyn that go. is amazing. I take my kids there, but I realized last time we were there that so many people here were on dates. Oh, yeah, really? yeah. That's that's it was a fun, yeah, I could hear their mm -hmm. conversation. Do you remember your first date with your husband? Um, no, ours, not really. ours, <laughs> ours was super boring. Ours was just movie in a, in a dinner, but it was right. cute. But it was what movie. Did you say? Oh, the one with Jack Black. Oh gosh, he plays a music teacher. Oh yeah. What the heck was the Rock name of the movie? No, no, it wasn't Rock. Rock. School Rock. Rock. Yeah. Oh, we should play Pictionary. We should. <laughs> Um, so that's really sweet. That and then when sweet. you see that movie. But I like the idea of rock climbing or doing something fun because that judges it up a little. Exactly. Something different. And it will be more memorable that and way. And then have dinner. You yeah, can talk about it. Yeah, and then have dinner. Right. Another tip you say is go truth or dare. Right. So do, just doing something that is going to, so the truth part of it being that you're revealing stuff about you. And maybe you do actually play the game truth or dare. Right. But it's actually just revealing stuff about yourself that and just sharing more. I think being open because that allows you to connect with the person better. Mm -hmm. And then on the dare side, you know, why not try something different? I know a married couple that on a dare, they went to a strip club for their first date. Because hey, wow. he'd never been to one. So and she it was, was her like, idea. yeah, so she, she pushed asked him. him. Wow. She said, oh, yeah. And, and you know, <laughs> it was, yeah, it was um, memorable. <laughs> oh, that is definitely memorable. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, this next tip I love because surprises are always fun. You say that someone should surprise the other right. person. Now, do right. you mean like they don't know where they're going? You take them to a secret Maybe. Plan? I mean, you could book a helicopter ride, maybe go for horseback riding. Or one other thing that I really like is not just telling someone who you are and what your hobbies are, but showing them. So with the surprise, you know, that's kind of showing whatever it is that you do. Say you're an artist instead of saying, yeah, I'm an artist. Maybe you show your artwork in some way or another. Or you're maybe not paint being together. flashy. There you go. Yeah. Be a little more creative. Right. Right. Sorry. God, it's tough. Well, I don't we got to think about this. What I would know. we do if we had to I know. come up with a date idea I would again? fail. You said the last one is prepare <laughs> and share. Prepare what does and that share. mean? So don't just show up and expect to be entertained because nobody is there to entertain you. You mm -hmm. need to put some more effort into it yourself. So when I say prepare, maybe read up on what's going on out there, not just, you know, what Kim Kardashian like doing. Yes. <laughs> exactly. You know, wise. what is going on in the world? You know, not just keep getting caught up on all the celebrity gossip, right. but really what, you know, what CNN, what's going on. <laughs> Right, right. <laughs> and also share stuff about yourself. Don't make the other person do all the work and ask you all these questions. You want to kind of reveal some yeah. more information about yourself. And ask questions yourself. of the other person because that's always the worst yeah. date, right? When it's one-sided. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And then it's realizing you're not there to talk about yourself. Yeah. It's just nothing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. These are great tips. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for having me. If I was single, I'd be ready to date. I know. Well, you know, we always got to stay on it, Christina. <laughs> <laughs> stay sharp. <laughs> <laughs> all right.